Hi guys, it's Prasanna here and I'm back with another video. So today we'll be discussing about the full stack development roadmap for 2021. You know, in 2021, many of you will start your web development journey. Many of you would have already started. I just wanted to give you a quick peek that how you should uh, start your full stack development journey. You know, there are many frameworks, technologies and databases in 2021. So it really confuses us that which one we should approach first. So do not worry i will be answering all this question in this video guys so before starting the video make sure you like share and subscribe the video guys it will really help me out here so without wasting time let's start the video guys so when it comes to the full stack development guys there are generally three major components and those three major components are your front-end development backend development and database management system whoa but in the picture there are five components actually there are five components but if you are able to master these three component guys you will be easily be able to learn these two component but if you are not able to master this three component you will never learn this two component guys so this two component completely depends upon your this three major component guys so make sure you start your journey with these three major components now which one we should approach first you should definitely start with front-end development guys now in the front-end development you have have to have a knowledge of basic and if you don't know start learning the basics and the basics are html css and javascript simply the reason why guys because these three technologies are the heart of the full stack development we can say it is the heart of the web development so you need to have a clear concept for these three things guys once you are able to master these three things i want you to go learn some styling frameworks that is bootstrap or material ui so what is styling frameworks guys so when it comes to the styling frameworks it makes your website completely responsive and it provides some cool styling to your website you know in 2021 you will be making websites which are completely responsive not according to your monitor size but also according to your mobile size television size according to every screen size so definitely you also need to know some styling frameworks i would definitely recommend you to start with the bootstrap guys because it is one of the most famous uh, styling frameworks and it is super easy to use so make sure after you learn the basics you learn some styling frameworks uh, especially you can go with the bootstrap now once you are completed with these two things yes you are ready to learn frameworks guys but which framework yes that is the question so there are plenty of frameworks in web development guys there is angular.js there's react.js vue.js backbone.js and lots and lots more but you know what mistake generally beginners do guys they start learning react.js and why not guys react.js is one of the most popular framework and it is booming in 2021 everybody wants react.js but for beginners it's a big no never go for react.js guys because when you learn the basics that is html css javascript there the working environment is different but when you come to the react.js the working environment changes react.js is a component level learning there is a jsx concept and lots and lots of more concept you will definitely get confused if you start learning react.js if you are a beginner same with the vue.js guys there is a very complicated syntax in vue.js you will definitely get confused so which framework to choose guys i would definitely recommend you guys to go for angular the reason why i'm telling you to go for angular js guys because angular js covers all the concept which you need to learn in a framework in a framework you need to learn how to route between different pages how to manage state api level routing route guard and lots and lots more and angular js covers all this concept guys so if you have learned the angular js you will be able to learn react js and vue js very 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 easily guys because 
all the frameworks have a common working system they all just have a different working environment different syntax and all so that is the reason why guys if you are able to master angular js you can simply learn react and Vue.js guys so don't do this mistake don't go for react.js and Vue.js after if you have learned the angular.js go for react.js guys so that is my one recommendation for the front-end framework guys coming to your back-end development guys there are so many technologies in back-end development when i was learning the back-end development i started with php guys but in 2021 do not go with php or asp.net guys because the trend for these two takes have heavily reduced in 2021 and i know facebook uses php but you know they have created their own php according to their requirements so in 2021 do not go with php or asp.net guys you can start with the node.js it is really super easy to use and it will cover all the concepts which you should learn in the backend development and if you want to learn some of the newest backend technologies you can go with the dino.js guys it is the latest backend technologies and it is very similar to node.js it will also cover all the concept now if you are from the python background you can definitely go with the flask api and django once you have covered any one of the technologies from the four which i told you you can go with the ruby on rails spring or redis guys so these are some of the advanced backend technologies guys it will really help you in microservices so mark this keyword i will be telling you about this in some other videos guys so after you have learned the backend development guys you can go to the databases coming to databases guys databases have so many options that even this list cannot cover it and that is something which really confuses people that which database they should learn first you know guys databases are not very hard to learn they are super easy to learn and what they generally uh, should do here is they should distribute the databases into two forms that is sql databases and no sql databases so coming to the sql databases they are generally relational database management system here the relations between the data will be very high you might have to use normalization concepts here overall the complexity of this database is very high guys and that is the reason why they are slow and that is the reason why even no sql databases came into existence and most of the people are moving towards NoSQL databases because here the complexity is super low and they are very fast. So which database you should learn? Actually, you should learn both guys. You know, uh, you don't know that which project might be assigned to you sometimes you might have to use sql databases sometimes you might have to use no sql databases is and that's something which you cannot choose you know so coming to the relational database management system you should definitely learn mysql databases they are super easy to learn and you can learn them very easily coming to the no sql databases guys there are so many options and you can learn any one of them uh, you can go with the mongodb cassandra and all but if you are looking into the future guys that which no sql database will shine in the future definitely go with the elastic search guys this is one of the most fastest no sql database and you know even this database has its own full stack that is elastic search log stash kibana elk stack guys uh, this is a very tacky term and a complicated uh, technology you won't understand it right now but in the future uh, you might be using it uh, it is uh one of the uh, most shiny thing in the future uh, you can go with this too but you know this uh, this doesn't differ from this databases uh, at all because all the nosql databases have the same concept at all now uh, when you will move to the more advanced part of the databases guys when you will be working on real-time projects then you might have to switch to messaging 
cues and you know and it is a very advanced topic you know in the real time uh, software or projects uh, might work like uh, i will be sending message to someone and he should receive the message in an instant uh, there you might have to learn the kafka rabbit mq you know these are uh, these are one of the most trendy texts and and there and we have graphqls too guys so overall uh, this uh, this two parts are for the advanced topics uh, they will be only be used for the advanced part guys but uh, that is the database guys they are not uh, very hard to learn and the reason why you should not uh, start with the messaging cues guys because uh, not very good with the visualizations they cannot visualize your data which this database can do and you can alter them uh, according to your requirements but here it's very hard to do that so go with these two databases and if you think that you you might have some complicated projects some advanced project where you require some real time processing and you might require speed then go with this two databases guys so there is it with with the front end development with the back end development and the database you are ready to go you are a officially full stack developer guys you have learned these three major components after these three major component comes the devops you know what's the full form of devops that is development and operation and if you have remained focused in my video at the starting i told you you need to learn development first yes if you learn the development then only you can perform the operation so you have learned the development now you can perform the operations coming to the devops guys generally in devops what you do the local project which you have created which you have developed it's time for you to deploy them and you know there are plenty of option out there you can choose any one of them whichever fits you whichever suits you if you want a high scalable project you will definitely opt for aws's and all and if you want some small project deployment you can go with the firebase azure and lots of stack guys even there are some automation tools in development you know you won't be copying the files on your own and pasting on the server there are some automation tools like uh, ansible jenkins and all and then even you can perform some virtualizations like docker and kubernetes where you deploy the containers so these are some of the advanced topics and devops is you know it's a field of its own on if you are if you want to learn the devops in the future you can definitely go for it but you know it's not a fully full stack development part so generally for me if you are able to learn front end back end and databases you are officially a full stack developer because in industry e you will be acting with these three technologies there is a independent devops engineer there which will help you deploy your project guys now coming to the mobile app development nowadays mobile app development is also in boom and you know with the technologies like react native flutter and ionic yes the frameworks which you have learned it will be those concepts will be used here and you can use those concepts to create the mobile app development too guys so i've created the roadmap for you guys as i was telling you that you need to start your full stack development journey with the basics that is html css and javascript these are the core of the web development and you need to learn them after if you have completed this you can switch to bootstrap uh, which is a styling framework which will teach you that how you can make your website responsive after this guys you need to switch to the frameworks and in the frameworks you need to learn angular js and you know in angular js there are different words versions do not go for angular js 1 because it is officially deprecated you can learn any other angular js versions you can learn angular js 2 or even angular js 10 uh, after this guys you can learn other frameworks like react js or Vue js or you can switch to the backend technologies in the backend technologies i told you four technologies node.js dino.js and if you're from the python background you can learn from flask api or django you don't have to learn all these technologies you can choose any one of them after learning the backend uh, development guys it's time for the databases in the databases i told you to learn sql databases here i told you to learn my sql database and after this guys you need to learn no sql databases here you can learn any of the database guys it is completely dependent upon you which database you choose by this 
point guys you will be an official full stack developer guys because you know front end back end and database guys after this guys you can switch to the mobile app development you can uh, go for react native or flutter or ionic uh, or you can uh, go to the devops engineering uh, because you you have already learned the development and now it's time for you to learn the operation guys so this is it guys if you will follow all the instructions which i have given even in this video you will be a full stack developer in no time i know you might be having a lot of confusions at some point regarding some technologies some databases and some frameworks do not worry you can comment your queries uh, on the comment section of this video me and my team will look at that comments and answer uh, answer them and also do not worry guys we will follow the same roadmap we will also create the tutorials for the same in our channel uh, so make sure that you like share and subscribe the video and also press the notification bell to get the updates for the videos guys also make sure to follow our social media so that you can get the regular updates so with this i'm ending the video guys thanks peace